My rollaway toolbox has four rubber tires and goes 75 miles an hour. Follow me, I'll show you what we're going to do today. This is the 67 Impala parts car, four door post. Car's got a rusty frame and further rust beyond just the frame. Rocker panel's gone, floors are pretty gone. If it was a hard top car, it might be justified to fix it, but guys needing parts, I need parts to pick, get some other cars put together. See I've already got the front fender unbolted, the door unbolted, pretty basic stuff. GM liked the little chintzy clips that hold the bolts on, so you gotta fight those. Wasn't too bad. Shoveled out the inside. Already used the bench seat for another project car. 67 Caprice has a center fold down armrest. Impala has a straight seat, so needed to have that Impala seat to replace the Caprice seat. Everybody building these cars, they want them trimmed out as Impalas per the TV show. This thing's pretty nasty inside. Critters partied hard. Guy I got it from and cleaned it out some before I got it. See there's quite a bit in the dumpster. Gonna be quite a bit more here in a minute. Had a entire raccoon deceased in here. A little past the period of flies buzzing around. You can imagine what it smelled like. No raccoon funeral today. We're in the city, so straight into the dumpster it goes, no fanfare. A buddy of mine used to have a phrase, he would say, parts car time machine. And the meaning of that is these cars, whatever is left in them, kind of relics of their time. I don't see a whole lot in here that's really terribly interesting, definitely not valuable. Got the old steel and paper transmission fluid cans, got the windshield de-icer, rubber, rain boot, snow tire. Back in the day everybody had a pair of snow tires. Probably the most interesting of anything that's in here is going to be what I call the mystery box. Pull it out here, open it up. Feel a little bit like Howard Carter when he opened King Tut's tomb. And we've got chain. Possibly tire chain. Nope, regular chain. Very thin chain with the hook. So, before we cut this car up, solve the mystery of the mystery box. So I'm gonna keep shoveling here. Gotta have everything out that might catch fire once we start cutting. So that's the next step.
Last thing that's got to come out is the gas tank. Rear bumper's got to come off to get the quarter panel. Frame is rusty. Sometimes I sell those rear rails. So I just cut across the frame with the torch. Trailer hitch is holding the bumper on. I've got my snow tire there to support it. So we're going to drop the last trailer hitch bolt and should come loose.
So I make a pie cut and then you dig the end out, peel it up. And then you can take Sawzall blade in your purchase point. I've had some cars that are real rusty. You can take a channel lock and you can actually tear that metal, peel it open, and you can keep rolling it all the way. So that's why this tool for me has earned its nickname, the can opener. I leave little support tabs so that way the whole thing doesn't droop and get away from me. When I got everything else free, cut the tabs, lift it off. Daddy, the side came off.